Do you want to know how to view your GP record? In this episode, I'm going to explain exactly how you can do that really quickly. Let's tech enhance your primary care and learning. So to look at your GP record, you will need to be able to access either the NHS app or have the NHS login to use the website, which links to that are down below. I'll be showing you what it looks like using the NHS app. And if you want to know how to register for that, stick around because I'm going to show you exactly how at the end of this episode. Once you've downloaded and registered for the app, click on the login button and enter your details. It'll ask you to confirm your ID and then enter your password. On the home screen, you'll see various options, including popular services, including the NHS COVID pass, other messages, view profiles, view your GP health record or order a prescription. Click on the view GP health record. You can also access this through the heart-shaped icon, Your Health, which takes you through a similar menu, having GP health record as the part you need to click or tap on to access your GP record. There may be a security check just to confirm that you understand what accessing your record means and that you're accessing personal and sensitive data through your GP practice. Click or tap continue. When viewing your record, you'll have five options. You can look at the allergies and adverse reactions that you may have listed on your record. You can look at the medicines based on your health record. And this is normally split into three sections, the acute medications, so the type of medication you may have had as a one-off, the repeat medications, which are the ones that you would normally have on a regular basis. And there are two versions of this, the current and the discontinued. Underneath this, you'll have access to any test results held by your GP practice. Then the consultation and events. So this is the main part of the record. And following that, any documents that have been sent to your GP practice, such as letters from your hospital teams. Clicking or tapping on each of these selection menus will give you the information that you're after. Most people will have a look at the consultation and events section because this is the record of your health information held by your GP practice. This is normally in chronological order and worth noting there may be lots of abbreviations that may not immediately make sense. The NHS app does give you a link to a website that gives you information about the abbreviations, although to be honest, it's a little bit hospital focused. If you want better information, check out the video at this section which gives you information about the relevant abbreviations used in primary care. It's important to note that if you're not sure about any information in your GP record, do not book an appointment with the GP to discuss this. Simply contact your practice and they'll inform you the best options to help you understand the information in your health records. What if you can't actually access the information in your GP records? This may be due to safety reasons or alternately your practice may be using a different app interface to share that information with you you will need to contact your practice administration team for information as to how to do that. Alternately, it may be because you've not registered for the NHS app. And if that's the case, check out this video that explains and shows you how to register for the NHS app. Alternately, if you've already done that and want the information about the abbreviations, check out this video that gives you all that information coming up soon.